Hey guys, LEGO Brick Fan Productions here, coming to you with the 8th level of LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham, which is, um... Big Trouble in Little Gotham, I believe, is the name of this level. Um, obviously it's on the title of the video and the thumbnail, so yeah. Um, but anyway, um, as you may have guessed, this level we will be going to Gotham City, because if you remember from the previous level, um, that's where Brainiac went over to. Uh, so, right now, Green Lantern's trying to fix up the watchtower, because, you know, we've got all... Uh, well, they grappled themselves to the the skull ship, and they got all screwed up. Um, but once again, we will be choosing the level, and oh, I was right. You do do it again, um, which you we did in the last level, and possibly the level before that. I'm not sure, um, but it'll be in the next six levels, I believe, I'm, I, and possibly the last one. So I don't know. I kind of like it. I mean, I really prefer when the levels like play on with themselves that you don't literally just go and choose it because it doesn't feel like it's part of one story um however this makes sense because green lantern and martian manhunter are in the watchtower and right now you're supposed to do some simulation to uh find where brainiac is that's what it's simulating and but this you just have to get to him and i really love these little um computerized mini games here and you have to do this thrice or three times um so yeah i mean it does make sense because um if you guys saw on the uh I don't know what to call it. The, the, the thing there where you choose the levels, um, it had a picture of Brainiac and a question mark. Uh, so, yeah, he, they're going to find his location and then tell the Batman, Superman, and uh, Wonder Woman. And the other guys, too. Um, so, yeah, now you have to do this once more, I believe. Yes, you do. Just took a while to load. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I don't... I, the audio might be a bit louder than last time. I'm not sure if, it's, if it is or not, so... I'm not sure of that, but I'm going to try to do these more. Um, I'm setting a schedule for myself so that I can actually get these done because I usually don't. And, yeah. So, also, I am – one thing I'm planning on doing, which I was supposed to do yesterday, but it doesn't really matter because I I had um, a, a different distraction yesterday. Oh, he actually went to punch me. And then this story clip here. And <laughs> Superman's messing with his hair. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's headed for Gotham. <laughs> but, yeah, Superman loves the camera, I suppose. And um, here, I believe you see Flash starting to show his uh, avarice or greedy side from getting switched with the orange um, oh, orange lantern power or whatever. If it is a power, but, yeah, I mean, greed isn't, you know, whatever the, the characteristic of the orange lanterns. So... Yeah, that's true. Cause there, aren't, <laughs> there isn't anyone walking around. Um, but yeah, Brainiac. It is a giant skull. But yeah, so um, I am gonna work on a new channel art too, which. Uh, yeah. So I think I'll have um, I don't know. Um, when I say new channel art, um, I'll probably read blank. Cause I don't really like the white background. It looks too, I don't know, not generic, but it doesn't look cool enough to me and plus that sig fig is, is sort of outdated I, I don't really use it anymore uh so i yeah that's why i want to make a new one uh a new channel art um well a new channel background but it is technically channel art uh, i suppose if you know you know that's what that's what it's called um so yeah but it's sort of a banner in a way uh ace chemicals yeah we went here in the last game and, um, like I explained in one of the earlier videos, this is in the same universe as LEGO Batman 2. I don't think it is the same one as the first LEGO Batman, however. So, yeah, that explains that. And, in that case, we did go here in the, the previous game. Um, but, yeah. Speaking of which, um, I'm not sure. I don't think they are going to make a movie off of this. Uh, which they did with LEGO Batman 2. It was really, uh, I don't really know why. I mean... I'm glad that we got the Clark Kent minifigure. That was really cool. Uh, <laughs> even though the hairpiece in the game wasn't even the one they gave the minifigure. So, um, like, the er, in, in the movie, which it came with, wasn't the same. Um, however, the torso printing was very cool. Um, and it was sort of in between, you know, transforming into Superman. And um, we sort of already got a DC movie around the time that this came out. Well, a couple months after. Um, although, Lego... The Lego Batman movie came out like a year after Lego Batman 2. And all it is is just the, the story clips from Lego Batman 2. 
into a movie, except there's some interesting textures going on. Like, you can see, like, the different things on the minifinger. And I think that annoyed me at first, but then I realized it was pretty cool. Um, however, if I'm just, like, doing nothing, I don't have any other movies to watch, I'll just put it in. Um, I, like, I won't actually watch it. I'll just... I usually watch it while I'm doing something else, because I've already seen it uh, multiple times. Um, but, yeah, for this, you just got to find all the different pieces and... Yeah, I mean, it's really annoying because you wouldn't even know that Lex has the suit because they don't really explain it. They don't make you use it in other times besides this. And I'm not sure if you have to use it again. Um, so, yeah, you don't really know which suits they have because they don't really tell you which ones. And then this, you just got to pick it up and then, yeah, you don't even have to aim it. You can just press X or pff, um, H. I'm thinking X because now I've got the Xbox remote hooked up to it. And now we go over to the Funland, which you could also visit in Lego Batman 2. I don't believe there was a level that was here, but I uh, remember you unlocked a Harley Quinn character in this area of the map. And um, I do kind of want to explore around there because this game doesn't have an open world Gotham. Uh, but yeah, you just got to um, build that up there. It's a little uh, thingy for the ball suit. And Joker has that as well because <laughs> they, don't, they don't really explain um, who has what suit, though. So... There you go, you can do that. And um, then you gotta be Flash. And this took me a couple of times to do. So, yeah. Um, I mean, when I first did it, it took me a, a bunch of times. But when I did it this time, it didn't take as long. Uh, but yeah, this level is actually um, pretty short as well. Um, not as short as the last one. But because it's got like three different, well, four different parts technically. But you have three different groups. And then in the end, there's a, there's a final part. And, um, oh my gosh, terrible puns, terrible puns. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's, yeah, well, <laughs> terrible jokes, Ferris wheel made again. And now they have, yeah, he just, you have to, yeah, roller coaster. And uh, Flash wants it because he's, you know, Orange Lantern. And you have to switch over to his electricity suit and power it up. Now, it, it kept wanting me to grapple that, that stupid thing there, which is a mini kit, which I don't care about grappling right now. So you have to stand a, a somewhat of a distance away from it. And because that's the one where you don't have to go up to it. You'll like, it zaps the powers into it. Um, but yeah, now you go over to this area, which, well, this actually was accessible in Lego Batman 2. Um, but it, this isn't, it wasn't really the same as this. But then again, the Funland wasn't exactly the same. There's just areas. Um, but I remember the Poison Ivy thing. You had to go up, um, a couple of levels on there, uh, to get to the Poison Ivy. So, yeah, um, right now we don't have a character who can, um, like, destroy, uh, slash blow up gold. Um, but you'll unlock that for Robin, um, a bit later. So you have to be Cheetah dig these up and this is um to gain access into one of the rooms that has three plant things blocking it as you can see right there and it's got a little grundy pad inside of it so you know you can jump on that and grundy can do his thing even though it's it kind of boring to just sit and watch him do it but i like the little dirt details around here and there's robin's scuba suit uh which i forgot about when i was like play free playing through the level so i didn't really remember how i was supposed to do it and i remember one time Either I was free playing the level or I was doing it in story mode. I was swimming in the water and there's some weird glitch where I couldn't get out and I got really frustrated. Uh, so yeah. New suit. Robin. Dive. Dive suit? Really? They couldn't just call it a scuba suit? I mean, it's, it is a diver suit. Just say deep sea dive suit. It's slightly different from Batman's, but along the same lines. And so you've got to laser these. And Batman's actually got a laser too on his space suit. So does Cyborg. Well, Cyborg. <laughs> That book's got a laser on his face, so that could count. And then that drains out the water. You're going to have to switch to Cheetah over here, jump up there, and then, you know, that ladder reminds me of the one they used on Joker's helicopter, even though it's different, because that one was rope. And I remember the original set. I really wanted to get it. And that's a different kind of ladder, too, which I remember from Ollivander's one shop from the Diagon Alley set. They used those um, those balcony pieces sideways, and, I yeah, it was, it's a pretty cool way to, to build a ladder. I also remember they used uh, Indiana Jones whip pieces in that, and I thought that was pretty cool. So I did the same thing, you know, because I'm stupid, but this time it actually let me out of it. And that's a, actually a Poison Ivy thing back there, if you saw that. Um, if you guys remember from LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, there were little, like, black, like, 
yeah, well, they're venom things that venom could go through, and there would be that like circle with the X in the middle. Uh, you can do that for poison ivy. And so now I just gotta laser these, and I don't really know how. It doesn't really make too much sense, but yeah. Now you can go in and use Grundy, and he always pulls out a bike from somewhere. And it's a really cool thing, but they sort of do it too much, cause cause they don't change what comes out like the f first couple of times, and it just eventually gets boring to sit through. And now these guys are trying to punch me as I'm um, throwing up stuff, and that's a grapple gun, which is cool. And well, grapple. Well, you have to grapple it to activate it, or it's like a grapple cannon because he shoots a cannon out of it. And now here's like a minute long story clip, of course, because that just happened. <laughs> I love this part. He's playing around with the cars, and there's Brainiac, and his ship is malfunctioning because we destroyed it. Yeah, can't escape Wonder Woman because she got switched with uh, Trocitus. I just think of him. Whatever, the red uh, rage power. So she's raging. Um, but yeah, and I hate how they include things in the. Vi oh yeah, this is really weird. They just have like a million different versions of him, but obviously he's not any of those. So, yeah. And interestingly enough, I I hate when they do that, though. They put in things in the video games that now people are like, oh, they got to put that in sets because Wonder Woman, they gave her through bracelets or whatever. And they don't have that. And I know people, you can buy it from like other things from Lego. And now he's got that big, awesome ship. And, uh oh, no. And there's Green Lantern. He's sort of like, hey, what's up? <laughs> I got knocked away. <laughs> Ah, oh, poor Green Lantern. But, yeah. He didn't really get invited to the party. Now you got these three people here. Uh, yeah, so... What you have to do here, you have to... This is one of the things where you have to run around first. You don't really have to do anything, you just have to waste time. And my, I think that's what you have to do. So it's just me running around here, doing nothing, I saved. And eventually, one of his uh, tentacles, like right here, will plunge into the ground, and that's what you need to do. And you don't actually have to throw a batarang at it. I was just sort of doing that. And hitting other stuff. You have to wait till it comes up. And then you can aim a battering. And I believe you can also do Wonder Woman's tiara. And aim it at the top of there. Because there's a little yellow beam of light. And then it'll it'll come back and slam down with metal on it. So you're going to need to change into a metal, metal suit. As, um, yeah. And, well, the right one just slammed down. They do it at different times. So you're going to need to change into the uh, power suit for Batman. And I'm, I'm just waiting for the stupid thing to come up so I can battering it. Um... But, yeah, so, you just gotta ex explode that. Then you gotta do the same exact thing to the other one. And then there's more stuff to do. Not that much, though. And there's actually a really easy mini kit um, down there. I believe there's just a mini kit somewhere. And they switch back into the power suit. And I love all the... And that's really clever with the emergency vehicles with using those cross axle one by two pieces, whatever you want to call it. So then that explodes... And, yeah, and then you got to um, deflect lasers using Wonder Woman's, uh, I don't know, whatever power. <laughs> and, yeah, because now he starts lasering you. And she gets really angry, of course. But Yes, so, funnily enough, I had a glitch. It's actually not funny at all, so I'm not, I don't know why I was saying that. But when I was first going through this in story mode, there was a really stupid glitch where it, it would not let me... When I was one woman, and the laser wouldn't deflect. Like, it wouldn't... The laser wouldn't just stay pointed on my shield for me to deflect it. It would move around. And so, occasionally, it would, like, for a, a glimpse of a second... And a glimpse of a second that doesn't make any sense. But for uh, a millisecond or something like that, it would actually deflect and hit the teeth. But I got so annoyed. I tried so hard. And then it was... I, I fixed the glitch eventually. Uh, but, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, and he was supposed to be dead, but yeah. Uh, and now it's just sort of the end here, and, well, there's this whole merry group, and they have to go back to the watchtower, and, oh yeah, they leave him in that cage, but they've got to get all the lanterns back now, which, as you may guess, it's going to take a while. <laughs> the funny thing is you can actually do that with the big pig. So yeah, big trouble in little Gotham. Anyway, guys, for right now, this is LEGO Brief Productions, signing out.